Here's how you can turn any Photoshop file into a stunning motion graphic with this awesome zoom effect. So here I am in After Effects and I'm gonna start off by going to File and then Import. Then I can choose Import File. And today I'm gonna to be using the Cincinnati design that we created in our most recent tutorial. Now, when I open this up, you can see I'm presented with a dialog box. And I have a couple of different options here. I have composition and footage. If I choose footage, what that does is it takes all of my layers within my Photoshop file and compresses them into one singular layer. That's not editable and it's definitely not what we want for this. So I'm gonna choose composition. And then when I choose composition, I have a couple of different options. I have editable layer styles or merge layer styles into footage. Like I said, we wanna be able to edit all of our layers, including the text and shapes within our image. And so we're gonna leave it at editable layer styles for now. I'm then gonna hit okay. And when I do that, you can see we have our file over here in the project window. Now I'm gonna take this file and drag it into my After Effects timeline. And it looks just like this. If I hit play on my keyboard, you can see there is nothing happening. And it looks like we only have one layer. But the cool thing is that when we imported this Photoshop file, it actually took all of our layers and created them as individual layers within After Effects. So when we double click on this text right here, you can now see all of our layers from our Photoshop file. Everything from our background Cincinnati logo to our textures, to even the text overlays at the very top. And so now we're gonna take this and edit all of the individual layers to add some motion to this design. Now within this, I'm gonna take my work area and drag this to be about 10 seconds long. So my thinking for this design was to have the first half of it just have a subtle animation, maybe a nice zoom in, zoom out effect with the player. And then I was going to have an animation, like a zoom animation or something like that, and then have the Cincinnati Bearcats logo. To start off, I'm gonna need to split my files in half so that these files are only showing in the first five seconds of my video. So I can do this by going to roughly the five second mark, and then I'm gonna go over here and select all of my files. I'm then gonna hit Command Shift D. And what that'll do is take all of my files and split them at that exact point. Now if I hit delete, it'll take all of the second half of those clips and delete from that point on. Now you can see if I hit play, we have our image and then nothing. But I wanna extend my background. So if you notice here, we have a nice kind of jersey texture and dark gray background. And I wanna make sure that that's included throughout the entirety of my design. And so I'm gonna go here and select my texture and background layer and then just drag this to the very end of my timeline. And now when I hit play, you'll notice those two layers remain, which is exactly what we're looking for. I'm gonna go over to Google and just download this Cincinnati Bearcats logo. And one thing you'll probably notice is this is the full color logo. And so we're gonna have to do some tweaking within After Effects. I'm then gonna take this download and just drag it into my project file and then drag it directly into my timeline where I want it to go. Now we need to do some work to make it appear how we want it to. I'm gonna start off by dragging it to first start appearing at the very moment where all of my other layers disappear. And so I can do that by just adjusting the timeline there. I also need to adjust the size of it. It's a little bit too big. I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard to bring up the scale tool, and then I can scale this down just like that. And now this is in the middle of my image and the sizing looks good to me. It's a black and red logo on a dark gray background. So it definitely does not look the best. We can fix that by going over here to effects and presets. And then I'm gonna type in fill. Then there's a tool that says generate fill. I'm just gonna take that and drop it directly onto the layer. And then you'll notice over here in this top left box, you can see some different options as far as color fill goes. This is similar to like a color overlay within Photoshop. So for now, I'm just gonna click and I can choose whatever color I would like to and you can see it change within my timeline, but I'm gonna choose white for now to stick with the white background that we have in the first part of this design. So now when I hit play, you'll notice the logo appears just like that. But that's kind of boring. We want more animation than that. And so I'm gonna start off by adding the subtle animation to the beginning of this design. For starters, I'm gonna turn off this front rectangle and some dashes because I think it'll get in the way of the animation that we're trying to apply. Now, like I said, what I wanna do is take the player and the background rectangle and have them subtly zoom in and zoom out. 
And so I'm gonna do that by increasing the size of my viewport here so I can have more room to play around with. And I'm gonna select my two layers that include my player in the background. So you can see I have cut out here and rectangle. And if you're a little bit confused at why we have our layer split up this way, go ahead and watch our Photoshop tutorial and you'll be able to see the entire thing. But for now, I'm gonna take these two layers and select them. I can do this by hitting shift and clicking just like you can in Photoshop. I'm gonna start off by hitting S on my keyboard. And what that allows me to do is bring up our scale tool once again. I'm just gonna to go to the very beginning of my timeline here. And I'm gonna start by hitting this stopwatch looking thing. And what that does is adds a keyframe for this particular moment in time. And so at this particular moment, our player and our rectangle will be this particular size. You'll see where that comes into play here in a minute. I'm then gonna zoom out a couple of seconds and let's scale this up a little bit. I can drag my 100 here to the right just a little bit. And I think I want a subtle zoom, so I might go up to 106 or something like that. And now what you'll notice is it's added another keyframe over here. And so if I hit play, there's a nice slow zoom in. And so we went from this particular moment of time having 100% zoom to this particular moment in time having 106% zoom. And that is essentially the basis of After Effects, just setting specific keyframes for your design to hit at specific moments of time. So now I'm gonna go forward a few more seconds and now I'm gonna hit 100 again because we want it to be kind of a nice subtle zoom in, zoom out effect and then maybe a couple more seconds, and then hit 106. And now let's watch our design through. So you can see a nice slow animation in and out. And that's exactly the look I was going for, but it looks a little bit choppy to me. And so we can smooth this out a little bit so it's less jagged, and that's actually really easy to do. So there's a couple of different ways to do this, but one way to do it is to highlight all of our keyframes here, and then I'm gonna hit this graph editor. And when I click on this button, you'll notice it brings up this weird screen. If you're working in an office and you wanna seem like someone that really knows what they're doing, just pull up the graph editor with an After Effects and people will be blown away because it looks more confusing than it is. So here, essentially, I just have all of my different keyframes. And so what I can do is click and drag, making sure I select all of these dots here. And then you'll notice in this bottom right-hand corner, I have a couple of different options. If I hover over them, you'll notice I have easy ease, easy ease in, easy ease out. And for now, I'm just gonna choose this easy ease in. And you'll notice my keyframes are a little bit rounded here. And so what that means is it's essentially just taking them and smoothing them out a little bit. So now I'll hit play, and you'll notice my animation is a lot smoother than it was before. And I really like the way that looks. Now let's go back to our normal view and play it one more time. I'll scale it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now we need to add in that zoom animation that I've been talking about. And to do this, we need to talk about a special tool that lots of sports designers use. It's the Video Lancer Original Seamless Transitions Pack. And you can see here, it is $59 on a website called Envato Market. Now you might be wondering, $59, that's so much money. Like, how could I possibly justify this? But I can tell you, this is going to make the biggest difference when it comes to creating professional looking motion graphics. I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna jump back into After Effects and I'm gonna increase the size of my viewport here. And again, going back through, just a nice simple animation. But we wanna add in that zoom effect. So I'm gonna select the point where I want to add in that zoom effect, and then I'm gonna bring up the seamless transition pack that I talked about from Envato Market. There's so many different pre-built animations that you can add into After Effects with just one click. For example, we can add some glitch effects. Those look pretty cool. We can add some lens flares. We have some different options here. Some camera pans, this is a really cool one. I really like the film overlays, so we can add in some film effects. And it really kind of creates that gritty, like lens flare film animation effect. One of the things I love are the zoom effects. So up here, distortion zoom. You can see some really cool zooms there. And that's just the beginning of it. There's even more than that. We have some shape transitions. So we have some cool animations just like that. Love those. 
We have some split transitions. I really like the layout ones. I think these are really cool. There's also some more simple transitions. So we have like the shake effect. And what that'll do is just apply a subtle shake to your image and then add a transition on top. The other cool thing I wanna call out is all of these have sound effects applied to them. So you don't have to worry about going and finding the perfect sound effect. They're already built into the After Effects file. If you're interested in checking out this original seamless transition pack, I put a link down in the description and I highly encourage you to use that link. We get a small commission on every purchase, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could go in and use that link. I highly recommend you go and check it out for yourself. But for now, I'm gonna go back to the basic pack and I'm gonna use this distortion zoom effect. So with my layer selected here, I'm just gonna choose this zoom in and out effect. I'm gonna hit apply. I have this pop-up here that says one file missing. I'm just gonna hit okay. And now you'll see it instantly adds this animation to my After Effects file with a cut mark right here where my layers are meeting. I'm gonna minimize this window just for now. And so now when I play this animation, you can see we have an amazing zoom in effect, just like that. Let's zoom back out so we can see the entire thing. Just like that, a really cool zoom in animation. But we wanna make sure our design is looping. And so we can do that by going to the very beginning of our design. And let's just go back here and add another animation. Let's do this out in. Again, hit okay. And now you can see when we hit play, we have a cool zoom in to our player, our subtle animation, and then a cool zoom to the Cincinnati logo. We then get to the end of our animation and the motion graphic loops back. But we wanna make sure that our animation is applied at the beginning and the end of our clip. You can see here, there's not really anything building up to this cut right here. We can do this by hitting Command D on our keyboard and dragging this to the very end. So you can see here, now we have our animation applied to the end of our clip and the beginning of our clip. Now one thing I want to note, we want to make sure our animation layers are at the very top. Essentially they're adjustment layers and so they apply to everything beneath them. And so you want to make sure they're at the very top or else things that are above them will not have this zoom effect applied to it. Now I might want to shorten this a little bit so I'm going to reduce the size to about seven seconds and then adjust my animation one more time and let's play it and see how it looks. So we have this amazing looking zoom, another zoom, just like that. Now, if you wanna download this After Effects project file, I'll put the link down in the description. Feel free to go in and play around with all of the different layers and see what you can come up with in After Effects. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more motion graphic tutorials, just like this one, drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.